guys, LNS here um, bringing my third Man of War Assault Squad video. And uh, hold on, let me just. Alright. And um, this is a 2v2 um, Assault Zones battle I did with my buddy Echelon. Uh, you guys requested for some 2v2 gameplays, and uh, I'm gonna give them to you. Alright, uh, first thing as always, uh, I'm using we are using the Japanese and we are against the Soviet Union. So, um, as you all know, Japanese is a very good early game um, faction. So I push up a tank immediately, a light tank, instead of uh, bringing infantry. Uh, Echidon on the other hand will be bringing the infantry while I support him with my tank. And there you can hear him. My God, the fucking lag. Talking. <laughs> so I asked him to shut up. <laughs> Let me talk. Cause I'll be doing. Uh, Cause I recorded this live, and I uh, plan to do a commentary after I recorded it. <laughs> so um, it was kind of laggy at first, but then it got kind of fixed after that. So um, me, I asked the actual one to send up some infantry to the middle, while my tank is gonna flank my opponent. And you can see I'm using direct control over here to blow up these guys. So me and Echino have a, a, a sort of infantry and uh, armor advantage. So you gotta use that um, to your advantage. Yeah, don't want to blow up. Yeah, don't you don't want your uh, light tank to get destroyed by, um, by the enemy. Over here you can see him trying to uh, take out my tank. I think he did. No, he didn't. Do a more perfect there. Just set my tank on fire, but uh, it's doing good. So I just blew that guy out. And uh, you can see me sending out uh, a unit of, I think, assault infantry on the mini map. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I brought them up to, support, uh, to capture the right point and uh, try to support Echelon. And you can also see Echelon has captured the left point. Which, it, which was meant to be for his appointment, but I uh, captured it as well first before capturing the point from the back. So basically, we are trying to get as many points as we can because of the advantage we have as a as a Japanese. Uh, over here, you can see me shooting, uh, gunning down this infantry because I hit my guy, uh, turn off fire at will, so my enemy couldn't see that unit over there. And when I, when I waited for him to get close enough, I opened fire on him. So basically, we're, uh, we're just now reinforcing our position. So um, when you play at Japan, you want to get um, all the points as quickly as possible, but you also want to reinforce it. Because uh, if, you're, if the enemy managed to get our medium tank and uh, if you're caught off guard, that medium tank is going to destroy your light tank. So uh, you can see over here what I'm talking about when I wasn't paying attention to run. My my tank was facing backwards and uh, it was moving. It was driving backwards, so yeah, literally took me a while. You can see my opponent taking it out in a while. So now I can see me trying to change the position of my tank. And over on the right, there's another tank, black tank, and uh, my black tank got destroyed. So I uh, pushed up my infantry and I threw a anti-tank grenade. This guy didn't have infantry support, so he couldn't see my guys coming. Boom! There goes his tank. Well, I sacrificed my infantry for his tank, so it was really, really um, worth it, <laughs> in a sense. And now I'm putting my guys in the houses to give them some cover. And I'm sending up another squad of, uh, what are they? Assault, assault infantry. And I'm gonna capture the, the house in front. And uh, this armored vehicle over here is causing us quite a lot of trouble. And uh, actually, is not bringing up any more infantry as he's saving up for uh, I think a medium tank. Uh, you can see me putting three guys into this house over here, which is a little bit further up uh, to spot the enemies. I uh, turn fire will off for them also because I uh, just want to leave them there to spot not to engage and um, I'm trying to take the last point 
Um, I think in the wild here you can see one guy actually rage quit, so it becomes a 2v1. Uh, you can see Echelon typing to me um, because I asked him to shut his mouth. <laughs> nah, just kidding. So he asked me to bring more infantry for him as he was saving, as he was saving up for tanks, so I did. Uh, you can see the infantry rush our enemy is bringing, but uh, I've got an Izuzu motor truck behind there to give my guys some uh, firing cap. And I uh, managed to control this guy through a grenade because I saw like four of them behind. And I actually killed three of them and severely damaged two of them. You can see the armored vehicle is still there. I probably should have done something better to destroy it, not to let it roam around. And uh, I can see Bill on, on the minimap, uh, Echelon is bringing out his uh, medium tank. Right now you can see me bringing out a unit of elite infantry, uh, uh, paratroopers. And uh, capture this last point over here. As you can see I uh, spotted two enemies over there without firing and uh, without giving away my position because once you fire, um, you will give away your position. Uh, nothing much going on, Echelon's tank is killing all the infantry. And uh, somehow my Isuzu truck, I tried to push him up there but it refused to move, so it was really weird. <laughs> can see me trying to manual control this shit to where I want it to be and it doesn't want to move. Maybe it's because of the obstacles in front of it. Alright, so now you can see me trying to take the uh, final point. I think I got now the guy rage crit. Yep, there you go. Can see Ashland's reaction. Ball. So basically, uh, we've achieved um, the advantage. Japan has, which is to control as many points as you can in the early game and uh, secure it with reinforcements. So our enemy wasn't able to bring much units because uh, they wasted the cash on the uh, infantry which got mowed down by my light tank and also uh, wasted the cash on the uh, armor that got destroyed. And now you can see my guy bring, um, bring out my AT gun. A AA gun, which is uh, actually an AT gun. And uh, I see it, but uh, it's not going to cause much damage because uh, my guys are on the house in cover. And uh, there's this armored vehicle here. This is the AA gun. Yeah, I try to move my mother truck to give my guys over here some support. Alright, as you can see me trying to take the last point over here. And uh, I kinda messed up. I threw an AT grenade and didn't blow up and uh, my guy got blew up instead. Boom. <laughs> so it was kinda fail. Uh, I got a small little tip for you guys. Um, if you wanna capture a point and uh, you don't want to risk exposing yourself, your infantry, throw a smoke grenade, as you can see over there, just now. And it'll give you guys some 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 cover, not really cover, it'll just prevent our guys from being spotted that easily. So you can see on the minimap we got all the points and our uh, score is going up. We have 35 points now, our opponent has zero points. So nothing much is happening, just um, putting in more infantry to reinforce our positions. Okay, so I think basically our, our opponent has uh, barely enough money left to do anything. And if they try to wait more, um, our points is just going, going to go up really really fast. We have like 50 points now on the scoreboard. 
so I'm just looking around the map, trying to look for any enemies. You know, screwing around with this marker button. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> me and Echelon have been playing loads of uh, 2v2 and Man of War, but um, the battle tend to last for at least 30 minutes. But uh, because of because one guy dropped from this battle, um, like this one actually lasted a little bit shorter. Uh, I can see my opponent sending out a light tank, and uh, he's sending out without infantry support, so he can't. He, he will not be able to see my uh, my guy is trying to flank him with an AT grenade. You can see over here. What I mean. I've got one guy over there and I'll uh, target him with my AT grenade. There you go. Mm, boom. He sees it at the last moment and, and tries to pull back, but uh, it's, it's a little too late. Got another tank under my belt. <laughs> And the AA gun is not really doing that much because I I didn't send any I didn't send any tanks out. Uh, Set up mostly infantry. And now I'm pushing up even more over here. I'm trying to take out the AT gun. But uh, I got pinned down by some some SMG infantry, so I put my guys behind this this armored tractor that I destroyed. And over here you can see what I'm trying to do. I send one guy out, I send one guy out. Uh, throw a smoke bomb, a smoke grenade, and I send him out to the opposite direction to distract my enemy. While well, I send the other two guys to take out the AT gun. AA gun. Over here you can see. Under the smoke. And uh, the guy throw an AT gun and boom. Destroy the AT gun and uh, destroy my own man. <laughs> Another explosion of the AT gun. And uh, the battle is almost coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.